Hey viewers, welcome to another game share video with myself, Jamie. Today I've got a nice little treat in store for you, not from one of our usual systems, but the Nintendo Wii. This is Tatsunoko versus Capcom Ultimate All Stars. Enjoy this intro. So don't you feel better after that, or you either feel better and happy, or you feel sick, like I did the first time I watched it. I've watched it a couple times now, and believe me, it don't get no better. It's very bright and very horrible. So I'm just going to jump into the arcade mode and show you this phenomenal title. That is a word I like to brandish quite a lot. Um, so I'm going to pick one Capcom character and I'm gonna pick one Tatsunoko character so there's Ryu and Polymar for those new to the whole uh, genre Ryu is my Capcom character and Polymar is my Tatsunoko character so what is this game? It's one of Capcom's Versus series, of which I think this is the seventh, sixth or seventh game anyway, uh, along with like Marvel versus Capcom, Capcom versus SNK. You know, there's a whole, whole barrel load. Um, as you can tell straight away, absolutely stunning. Very anime graphics. Um, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I think this game came out uh, for North America and for Europe in 2010, so a couple years ago now. Um, I still love it. Um, you, you pick two characters, you can tag in and out, or you can um, do a sort of dual, uh, dual attack on, on your opposing player. So there's me, Geezer in the red, that's Polymar. Doing my bits and pieces with uh, spinny kicks and whatnot, same move, so I don't know his moves, there we go, not that phenomenal, uh, and there's my tag team little jewel up, so you can see you've got a special move bar down in the bottom left and right hand corner, I've charged up to number 5 at the minute, so um, this is one of the special moves, 
and that's a level 5 Hadouken uh, and it gives you some form of uh, damage gauge on the left or the right if you're the opposing player so that was a 12 hit combo which did me quite a bit of damage and here's a dual attack where you can use both your players to attack the one player done in 56 hit combo stunning goodbye and good night let's move on here's a little fact for you for those who don't know Tatsunoko they are actually a Japanese anime company um, I did a bit of research on them I personally not massively into my anime um, as discussed on a couple other videos that uh, myself and Mark for the game shed have done um, but what Tatsunoko have made is a an anime called uh, Sket Dance which I found very funny if you're a uh, from the UK you'll know that sket is a derogatory term for a woman um, so that, that's quite a funny thing um, yeah sket dance have a little watch of it so there we go on with my second battle where I'm playing Karas and Yataman now what lets this game down um, graphics are awesome playability amazing now this game is playable to both pros and newbies to the genre why because it's on the Wii and the Wii has a very poor controller system as we all know you can play this game a number of ways you can play it with the Wii nunchuck and remote which I did when I first got the game it's awful it doesn't play very well I switched out I put a GameCube controller in button configuration is terrible it plays a bit better and then I've got myself one of the, um, the Pro uh, Nintendo Controller 2 with the double shoulder buttons um, sort of L1 and L2 and R1 and R2 if you like um, and it plays a bit better although I'm a D-pad user I'm not really uh, an arcade stick or um, analog stick user um, but the d-pad on one of these competition pad pro 2s on the Wii they're tiny absolutely tiny the d-pad so I've adapted to playing this with the analog stick um, it's reasonably easy uh, but even so the controller layout on this game full stop is terrible because you have three buttons hard medium and light no not hard medium and light kick hard medium and light punch you just have hard medium and light now these three buttons cover both kick and punch which is frightfully annoying but why it is such a good thing for noobs because they can pick it up and just bash the hell out of the buttons and uh, more often than not pull off a special move it is very annoying um, you do have a fourth button on the face of your controller and this is your tag button if you just press the tag button once you'll get a, a dual move where you keep your main character you're playing with but your secondary backup character will jump in and attack your opponent before flying off the screen again if you press back and the tag button you will switch players um, so substituting for example here Ryu for Polymer which is quite handy uh, especially if you want to reserve some of your energy now you'll see on Ryu's screen right now he's got his normal green and yellow health bar but he also had a bit of red you can see it on Ipatsu Man there they have a red bit of health gauge now if you sub the player out or if you tag them out that red bit will recharge slowly so the attacks there's for Ryu there's three main attacks uh, special moves you can see here I keep on doing the fireball um, that's not just me being rubbish that is the controller being completely poo um, because I'm having to use the analog I'm not really finding the dragon punch as easy as I like there is a dragon punch uh, special move which is very powerful I do like it 
Um, there is a Hurricane Kick special move as well with him. And there is the Hadouken special move. How, for some reason, I only seem to be able to pull off the, uh, the Hadouken but several times, which is frightfully annoying. But here's my Polymar special move. I do like that. Team beating and then a stomp onto the ground. 30 hits. Saki is doomed. So Patsuman now. <coughs> See what I can finish him off with. Ooh, nice little comeback. And your standard Hadouken. I'm only going to play halfway in this game because uh, the footage is quite long. I'm going to play you up to the first boss, a guy called Gold Lightan. I know nothing about him other than he's pretty easy to beat. The true end boss is a pain in the balls. So here's G Lightan or Gold Lightan. Now there are three massive characters in this game. Um, the big characters if you unlock them you don't get a tag team partner so just bear that in mind. You only get one of the big boys and that's it. And there he is, he's about 50 times my weight. Let's try and do him in as best I know how. So a nice air attack because he's quite big. Just hit him with the 7 hit, didn't take too much damage off him. Switch out for Polymar, so I don't really care about him as much as Ryu. Switch Ryu back in, I find him a bit easier to play, especially with the air attacks. I'm just going to keep on giving him some air Hadoukens. Maybe a couple tag teams. And Bosh, there's another 28 hit. Now when he goes down, he gets back up dizzy, so be quick and just spark him. And let's rest Ryu for a bit. Bring in Polymer. See if I can pull off a special with Polymer. Ooh. Uh oh. Boy's in danger right now. Jamie. And there we go. There's the famous hurricane kick to finish him off. There's a fireball. You ain't recovering from that, you big gold bully. So that concludes the gameplay here for Tatsunoko versus Capcom on the Wii. Very, very enjoyable. Um, don't believe it's out on any other system, so uh, go and grab a copy of it. It's probably the best fighting game you will get for the Wii. Um, I'm not talking comic fighting like Smash Brothers or anything. I'm talking genuine arcade beat em up. I've grabbed this, yeah, the controlling system is terrible, but it is the best you're going to get. Which brings us nicely on to the end of our video. So remember to get in touch on Twitter at uh, Gamesshed you'll find a load of information on there um, and us just ranting complete and utter nonsense uh, you can also visit our blog if you wish thegameshed.com loads of cool stuff on there including some fantastic retro games collections so my name's Jamie from The Game Shed until next time goodbye